Good evening and welcome to St. Stephen's Episcopal Church on this June 3rd, Wednesday, June 3rd, the day the church remembers the martyrs of Uganda. <clears throat> I'm so glad you could join me for evening prayer this evening. I invite you to follow along in a book of common prayer. Our service begins on page 115. If you don't have a Book of Common Prayer available, please click on the link on the description, bcponline.org. Uh, you can click on the daily office link on the left-hand side of your screen. When a new menu pops up in the center of your screen, please click on Evening Prayer right too. It's a wonderful way to follow along on your computer. Or you can simply sit back this evening and allow the prayers to speak to you wherever you may be. And now as we begin our time in worship, I invite you to pause, to take a few deep breaths, and recall that Christ is in your midst. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel. My heart teaches me night after night. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not fall. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. O gracious light. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven. O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now, as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 49, found on page 652 in the Book of Common Prayer, Psalm 49. Hear this, all you peoples. Hearken, all you who dwell in the world, you of high degree and low, rich and poor together. My mouth shall speak of wisdom, and my heart shall meditate on understanding. I will incline my ear to a proverb and set forth my riddle upon the harp. Why should I be afraid in evil days when the wickedness of those at my heels surround me, the wickedness of those who put their trust in their goods and boast of their great riches? We can never ransom ourselves or deliver to God the price of our life. For the ransom of our life is so great that we should never have enough to pay for it. In order to live forever and ever and never see the grave, for we see that the wise die also, like the dull and stupid they perish, and leave their wealth to those who come after them. Their graves shall be their homes forever, their dwelling places from generation to generation, though they call the lands after their own names. Even though honored, they cannot live forever. They are like the beasts that perish. Such is the way of those who foolishly trust in themselves and the end of those who delight in their own words. Like a flock of sheep, they are destined to die. Death is their shepherd. They go down straightway to the grave. 
Their form shall waste away, and the land of the dead shall be their home. But God will ransom my life. He will snatch me from the grasp of death. Do not be envious when some become rich, or when the grandeur of their house increases. For they will carry nothing away at their death, nor will the grandeur follow them. Though they thought highly of themselves while they lived, and were praised for their success, they shall join the company of their forebears, who will never see the light again. Those who are honored but have no understanding are like the beast that perish. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Herod the Tetrarch heard about the fame of Jesus, and he said to his servants, This is John the Baptist. He has been raised from the dead. That is why these powers are at work in him. For Herod had seized John and bound him and put him in prison for the sake of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, because John said to him, It is not lawful for you to have her. And though he wanted to put him to death, he feared the people, because they held him to be a prophet. But when Herod's birthday came, the daughter of Herodias danced before the company and pleased Herod, so that he promised an oath to give her whatever she might ask. Prompted by her mother, she said, Give me the head of John the Baptist here on a platter. And the king was sorry, but because of his oath and his guests, he commanded it to be given. He sent and had John beheaded in the prison, and his head was brought on a platter and given to the girl, and she brought it to her mother. And his disciples came and took the body and buried it, and they went and told Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Song of Simeon. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages be, that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, we entreat you, O Lord that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat you, O Lord, that there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. We entreat you, O Lord, 
that we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of the ever-blessed Virgin Mary, blessed Stephen, the blessed martyrs of Uganda, and all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. The Collect of the Day. O God, by your providence, the blood of the martyrs is the seed of the church. Grant that we, who remember before you the blessed martyrs of Uganda, may, like them, be steadfast in our faith in Jesus Christ, to whom they gave obedience even to death and by their sacrifice brought forth a plentiful harvest. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A collect for protection. O God, the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the repose of the dead. We thank you for the blessings of the day that has passed and humbly ask for your protection through the coming night. Bring us in safety to the morning hours through him who died and rose again for us, your son, our savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. A prayer for mission. O God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love, that in companionship with one another, your abounding grace may increase among us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I invite your own prayers of intercession or thanksgiving, and please feel free to leave those prayer requests in the comment section below. For parish members and friends who are ill, infirm, or in need, including Leo, Rob, Erica and Peter, Ben, Eleanor, Samuel, Matthew, Roberta, Phil, Joan, Eloise, Pete, Pamela, Mary and Scott, Kate, Loretta, Leonard, May, Christine, Tony, Anthony, Jess, Alexandra, Jenny, Rick, Anne, Kathy, Kelly, Kelsey, Boyd, Mel, Pat, Fran, Mark, Alan, Jordan, Cassidy, Noah. For those we name with our lips or in our hearts, for those we have named in the comment section, and for those who have asked our prayers but we cannot recall at this time, O oh God of compassion, giver of life and health, we pray your healing mercies upon all who are in any way affected by the outbreak of the COVID-19 coronavirus. Comfort and sustain those who have been stricken. Relieve their pain and restore to them your gifts of gladness and strength. Grant to all in authority the courage to make wise decisions that are essential for the common good and strengthen them to lead institutions that care for those whom they serve. Watch over all first responders and those in the medical professions whose duty it is to care for the sick. Guard them, Lord Christ, from all danger and keep them safe in the knowledge that it is through their sacrifice and service that the health of the whole community is promoted. Mercifully accept these our prayers, O God of all comfort, and our only help in time of need. Amen. Our worship concludes with the general thanksgiving. 
Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church, and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. And the blessings of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. I wish you all a blessed evening. I invite you to join me again tomorrow morning at 8.30 for morning prayer right here from St. Stephen's Episcopal Church. God's peace be with you. Stay safe and stay healthy. Amen.